Hey guys, welcome to Advanced Bay. My name is Dimitri. It is night right now outside and I have a couple things in my hand. So I got a tape, flashlight, bottle like this and a glass jar. We have a GoPro that we will install inside of this jar. I have a GoPro that I want to install inside this jar and we'll show you guys why we're doing this later in the video. Right now what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to cut the tip of this bottle and install on my jar. Guys, watch this to the end so you will be you'll see why why I'm doing this. You'll be surprised. One thing that I can say, this is done for hunting. One problem. You know what's the problem? What? How are we gonna turn the GoPro? Maybe turn it on right now? No, not right now. I, I got an idea. You think, you think it's gonna work? It's gonna work, but we're gonna have to leave the, the camera, you know, till the battery dies there. We won't be able to remove the camera, the GoPro. Hopefully the video, day. hopefully the video gets saved. I mean, the battery does die quick. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go like this. Now, we're ready, grab a flashlight. And let's go. So guys, this is what we've done. We have the GoPro inside right there. And then we have this tip like this, the bottom. Yeah. And now we're gonna go hunting. Hunting for really, really cool species. So let's go. You guys ready? Go! Is it going to give us? What's up? Yeah. Who are you filming? Us. Us? Yeah. You? Not me, but I'll let you say that. No, I have fine that one place. I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. You think they're gonna know? I don't. They're not gonna know. They sure aren't gonna know. They're not gonna know. I know where I'm going. Hopefully. Alright guys, this has to be really, really quiet. They're literally viewers. You see the hole over there? Can you zoom in? There it is. You guys see it? All right, guys. So this is our. You see the location. wash? They're sticking out. We have to place this jar. The so jar. we have to place the jar really, really careful. And I'm a little bit worried about the. There are bees already going out. We need some some extra wood. We want to install the jar over this, but I see some uh, some extra dirt. Yeah, I see this. So let me go grab some dirt so we can actually flip the jar over the hole and cover all the other holes on the side. Watch this video. You guys will, will like what's gonna happen pretty soon. And I will capture those wasps in my go. First, you have to turn it on. I will. Let's go get some dirt. Get back to you. Bye. So we got the dirt. More like an ash. And now we have to install that uh, jar. First things first. We have, we have to, to find it. So what I'm gonna do right now, bro? Let's go. There we go. So we just replace the battery on a GoPro. Try it one more time. Okay, GoPro is recording right now. Now let's see. Okay, I think we're good. There is a flashlight. Really, really cool, guys. And uh, there is a hole. Sorry, guys. You can't see anything for now. Now. I'm I'm gonna have to install jar over the hole and now what I'm gonna do cover side jar like this now you can even come closer let's see I think we are safe and now what's gonna happen guys watch this this will be really really cool you think so I think so tried it before they start flying yeah it worked really well make it a little bit brighter are you sure this is the right hole <laughs> Think so. There were two going out. Do you see any movement? Not yet, huh? Come on, wake up. Wait, maybe flash over there if there's other holes. Yep, I see some movement. One's coming out. You guys see that? Yeah, we have to disturb their peace. Come on, let's go. There you go. Okay, see some movement. Okay, guys, so we're gonna pause for a second. All right, guys, so actually our trick didn't really work last time. When I tried, I have a video like in my, uh, one of the first videos in my channel, you guys can actually see it. So what I'm gonna do, why it didn't work, because I think the hole is actually way deeper and I think they're hiding. They don't see the, our light right now. What I'm gonna do, I will remove the GoPro from inside. We'll leave this jar overnight. So when the day comes, we'll come back they will we'll come back and we'll show you guys. They will fly inside and get back in the jar tomorrow morning. Okay guys, so we're gonna come back tomorrow. As I promised, I'll be back in the morning. And here is what I found. There you go. As you guys can see, the wasps flying in, they're a little bit confused where to go. As soon as one enters the jar, other wasps will follow it. I've done this in the past. I have a video with the link down below. It was one of my first videos on my channel. You guys can actually watch it if you guys like to. But this one should be a really cool video, right? They're a little bit confused. There should be like thousands of wasps. And I will show you guys that later during the day. They will fly in and will catch them out of this hole. I don't want wasps on my property.
I will come back later and show you guys a little more action inside this glass jar. All right, guys, so we came once again back to our jar. This afternoon, there is some wasp, dead wasp, which entered the jar, but nothing much. Let's see. We open it. Will they start coming out or not? Okay, I was expecting more wasps to be in this hole. All right, guys, this is our third day, and uh, let me show you what's going on. We're gonna cover this hole for now. Now I see some movement inside the jar. Look at that. Look how many wasps. Oh, actually, they can escape now. I see another hole, which we will block. Beautiful. There's only one way out, out of this hole inside the jar, and there's still more in wasps. I put inside a little stick like this, so they can actually kind of climb on that little stick. I have some wasps lying outside. They actually, they were coming out of that hole uh, and covered that hole yesterday now they're kind of lost they don't know where to enter but it's okay or what i can do i can actually uncover again little hole right here so they can actually enter at the end they will end up the jar so i'll keep you guys posted a little bit later show you guys how much more wasps will catch all right guys quick update i came back you guys can see it they made a bigger hole fly in fly out and yellow jackets right there inside are dead pretty hot inside and we will catch more more tomorrow all right guys just because of this simple blockage look inside the jar how many yellow jackets are flying inside what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna let them in and then i'll trap again i let them go in a lot of them coming out okay but also a lot inside the jar right there and now we're gonna block the axis one more time i would say 90 percent of them inside glass jar will die guys i'll give you one last peek at the jar right a lot of them inside flying some actually holding that yellow jackets right there they're trying to grab them to them and bring him back inside hole some are flying outside they found a little path to go in on the side of that little stick it's okay we'll leave it for now and I think we did a great catch this morning let me show you how many wasps we have here that is a lot of wasps So what's gonna happen? Now we have clean jar again and I blocked the path them to come out. Tomorrow we'll start having more wasps inside. See you guys tomorrow. Next morning we already have some yellow jackets inside the jar and so we will try to catch all of them today. Second day after we emptied the jar and look how many yellow jack jackets are inside the jar and they managed to escape they made a little hole right there but still we trapped a lot of them in two days. Yeah.